The Hopelessness of Imposed Godliness Sadly, in spite of threats and torture, Calvin's Geneva was not as righteous a city as the selected optimistic stories seem to indicate. The surviving records of the Council of Geneva unveil a city more similar to the rest of the world than Calvin's admirers like to admit. These documents reveal a high percentage of illegitimate children, abandoned infants, forced marriages, and sentences of death. The stepdaughter and son-in-law of Calvin were among the many condemned for adultery. Calvin had done his best, but had failed. He had not been able to produce among sinners the ideal society, Augustine City of God, which he had envisioned when he wrote his Institutes. Calvinists teach that the totally depraved unsaved can respond to God only in unbelief, rebellion, and opposition. White explains, Unregenerate men who are enemies of God most assuredly respond to God in a universally negative fashion. That being the case, by his own theory, Calvin's efforts at Geneva were doomed before they began. Speaking for most Calvinists, R. C. Sproul explains that according to the Reformed view of predestination, before a person can choose Christ, he must be born again by a sovereign act of God. How could Calvin be sure that God had done this work in the hearts of all in Geneva? If God had not predestined every citizen of Geneva to salvation, then Calvin was wrong in trying to force them into a Christian mold. Yet coercion, even by force, was an integral part of the system as practiced by Calvin himself and his immediate successors. If Calvinists today do not approve of such conduct, might not the Calvinism that produced such tyranny also be wrong in other respects? How many of the elect were there in Geneva? As J. Adams points out, no one, not even Calvin, could know. Calvinism has no explanation for how the elect could have been identified with certainty among the hypocrites who acted as though they were among the elect by behaving themselves, but did so only out of fear of the temporal consequences. No matter how hard Calvin tried, if God, according to Calvin's doctrine, had not elected every citizen in Geneva to salvation, and he apparently had not, then evil would still persist, though not as blatantly as in other cities of that day. Considering Calvin's abysmal record of failure, one wonders why today's Reconstructionists, who hold to the same dogma, nevertheless believe that they will be able to impose righteous living upon entire nations, or why evangelicals continue to praise Calvin, the oppressor of Geneva.